Welcome back to Good Things Utah. We've got some special guests on the show here today. We're talking about Make-A-Wish Utah's Evening of Wishes. It's basically their big fundraiser of the year where they help make dreams come true for kids just like Lauren and, of course, her mom, Rochelle. I've got Kelly Wolf here with the Make-A-Wish Utah to explain how this whole system works here. And, Lauren, I one of the first things i got to tell people is that I love your favorite color. Will you tell everyone what your favorite color is? Uh -huh. If you had to pick one color as your favorite color, what would it be? Gold. Gold. That's pretty good. I heard there were six <laughs> other colors in there. We were talking <laughs> earlier that you had seven favorite colors. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not easy to pick one of them, is it? But you just got back from your big wish from Make-A-Wish. Where did you go? I went to Disney World. You went to Disney World? Holy cow. How much fun did you have? This much fun? Mm -hmm. This much fun? This much fun? Um, tons more than that. Tons more than this! <laughs> Holy cow. If you had to pick all the fun things that you did, do you remember what your favorite part was? Mm. It's so hard. It's not as easy as picking between your favorite color. There's a lot of things here, Mom, that I know she loved. Tell them about your wand. Oh, you got, what did you get? You got a wand? Mm -hmm. From who? Harry Potter. There's, there, everyone loves the Harry Potter one. You've got to have one of those. Now, Mom, I'm, she's one of it. You'd never guess, right? Maybe uh, you'd never guess that she's a Make-A-Wish kid, right? Yep. A fun smiling face, right? Maybe a little nervous about being on TV today. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, she has a really unique condition that I'd never heard of before. Can you describe for people at home what she's dealing with? Well, she has what's called a congenital central hypoventilation syndrome another name it's known by is Ondine's curse so when she falls asleep or is unconscious for any reason her body doesn't sense air or CO2 building up and she basically does not have air hunger and within five minutes if she was not ventilated properly either through a ventilator or her breathing pacemaker uh, within five minutes, she'd have brain damage, and unfortunately, within ten minutes, she would pass away. So basically, you're saying that so when she falls asleep, sometimes her body forgets how to breathe, shuts down, and then she could pass away from that. If Always. That's the case. Yeah. Always. And it will be that way her whole life. She won't outgrow it, but it can definitely be managed. There are children that have grown into adults that are in their 20s now. Still and dealing with this. Still dealing with it, but they've gone on to college and gotten master's degrees, and a few have had children. Right, so you're really hoping this is the case for Lauren. Yes, absolutely. Right? And Kelly, that's why you want to get involved with Make-A-Wish, is in, you know, just kind of whatever her situation ends up being, for now you're going to be able to give her a great opportunity to be able to enjoy life. Yeah, wishes start with um, their imagination and their dreams. And our mission at Make-A-Wish is to help bring hope, strength, and joy in times where it can be a little hard for families, um, but to give them a, an experience that they're never going to forget. Mm -hmm. Did you remember your experience in Disney World? <sighs> Pressure's on. Do you remember it? I don't know what it means. Oh, okay. He's just asking if, will you ever forget your wish? No. Never, no. never. <laughs> and that's kind of what you want to do is help kids remember these things. And yes. this weekend with the evening of wishes, yes. I understand the goal of that is to be able to help make sure that these wishes are possible, yes. just like just Lawrence. Yes, it's our boldest, biggest fundraiser. We're able to grant, um, oh. we're granting 165 <laughs> wishes this year, and hopefully we're going to be able to reach more. Um, kids across the state of Utah and we're only able to do that with fundraisers like our Evening of Wishes where our community comes together, donors can come, um, the community really pulls together to help make wishes come true. So what really happens at the Evening of Wishes this week? So it's really, it's an amazing event. It's going to be at the Grand America Hotel this Saturday, April, uh, May 30th and it starts at 5.30. We have our silent auction, we'll have our live auction, we have a special program um, that is Lauren going to be there? Lauren's going to be there talking You're about be her involved. wish. Um, nice. We have our other wish kids. Um, I'm not going to tell all of the surprises because you'll be there as well. Um, but we'll end with our live auction and we have our amazing fun to wish. So it's just going to be a fun evening and hopefully we're going to be able to share the power of a wish with hope. our community. I hope you do too and I hope everyone watching at home will be able to maybe help out people just like Lauren, be able to get their mm -hmm. wish. So maybe they, they can go too. They can go as well to Disney World or wherever that you want to go, right? Yeah. Right, there we go. <laughs>
<laughs> I feel like we should sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like I'm that. the odd person like out. <laughs> and of course, I'll be, I'm seeing this event coming up this weekend as well, so you'll be able yeah. to have a, we'll have a full story coming up on how everything shaked out. Thanks for being here, Lauren. Yeah. Mom? All right. Thank you for having us. All right. Thanks for letting <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, still ahead on Good Things Utah, if you're trying to lose weight or whatever it is you're trying to do, we've got some solutions here, plus learning the breathing trick that helps put you to